Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Ain't We Got Fun and today I wanted to share some stuff I bought at Dollar Tree. It is Sunday, so weekend is coming to a close. Hope everyone had a good weekend or is having a good weekend still. I want to start with these stickers. So I bought four sheets of these. They had some other kinds, but I thought these would most suit the person I'm planning to give these to. Um, they like to make cards. I'm going to give them along with some stickers I bought from a past haul. And I'm hoping they'll find them handy. They're from the Jot brand. This one has five. And this one's more of a lacy type of pattern. This one's like ribbons. And five in that one too. This one has eight. I think I like this one most because of the owl. It has little uh, feathers. This one has flowers and roses in the middle there. You get five. So that's all of those. The next couple of things are some journals. I bought these for my nephew. I wasn't sure which one he would like better. They both have 80 sheets. This one's a little smaller. They're both from the Jot brand. Um, I'll show how it looks inside here. So I was thinking he would like to just uh, use it for writing or doodling. He likes to do that often. And especially with uh, that show Gravity Falls, I think he was wanting a, a journal kind of like that. If you guys haven't seen Gravity Falls, uh, it's a really great show. And I highly recommend it. The next thing are two of these Command Basic hooks. It says it can hold up to two pounds. And it's from the brand 3M, I believe. Yep, and that's a, a brand name. I've bought this type of thing before at like Rite Aid or other drugstores, and they usually cost more. So I thought this was pretty neat. Not sure if this matters a lot, but I tend to say where things are from if I remember. This one says the hook is made in Malaysia and the strip is made in Singapore, so. Not sure where I'll put that yet. A cinnamon bun scented candle. Let me look at that. It says it's lead free, lead free wicks, and it's made in the USA. So I opened that one. It smelled pretty good. And these Westcott titanium bonded scissors. I think I bought these just more. Out of curiosity, I just bought some scissors at Rite Aid, but since it says titanium bonded, blades are three times harder than steel. They stay sharper longer, left or right handed. Um, I don't know. I guess that piqued my interest, even though it is the same as the other ones. They're both by Greenbrier. It's just the other ones were from Jot. So, I guess I have extra scissors. And I should probably throw away my dull ones I've still been hanging on to. This is from Voila. And it's a cute gift bag with all of these, uh, like a rotary phone, old school bicycle, typewriter, clock. I just thought it was cute. The colors are cute and I like those. Um, there and the sides have a different pattern so I liked liked it even more after I noticed that and I like that all pretty much all of the gift bags I've bought at Dollar Tree have a little tag so you can write who it's for and who it's from and next here more of these popcorners chips I won't talk too much about these I've but I think this is like my seventh bag. Um, some of them I've given to my nephews as snacks, and I just like keeping them around. I don't feel like super sick after eating these. Sometimes with potato chips, even though I love chips of all kinds, they can make you feel a little sick. But these are, I don't know, there's something, something yummy about these. Like more, I guess, light tasting. Uh, And more of these Rice Krispies treats. 
you get five 3.9 ounces total in the chocolatey drizzle. I think that's the only kind I've seen of this and they're really good. And the last things here are these Essentials Collapsible Storage Containers. And they had some that were open so you can check out what size they are. And um, if your Dollar Tree doesn't, maybe you could ask them so you can see if you're not good with estimating. But it has a picture and the sizes on the packaging, so that helps. And I think there were maybe three three or four sizes. Um, this one was one of the bigger ones and there was one that was a size bigger that I wanted to get but it was only in the color orange and I like this color more. And I'll show what those look like here. I'm hoping to get those used right away. So this is what they look like when you open them up. They are um, somewhat thin but stiff enough to stay standing. I remember paying around 10 bucks for something like this that was meant for shoes. It was an As Seen on TV product and it was super floppy, so a pretty decent value. And the part that goes on the bottom was separate, so it has cardboard, so I think that's what's giving it stability, so be careful not to be too rough with these. And that's what they look like. So that's my haul. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care.